Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I will apologize ahead of time, I have a few cough drops in my mouth, so if I sound garbled, I am sorry. Uh, got another Easy Drummer 3 video here for you. Um, I'm addressing a couple questions that I had um, asked of me, actually. And it was to address the original mix option. Okay, and I'm assuming they wanted me to explain what that actually meant. So, um, I've got a loop here. Um, I'm going to play in the default mode, which is just basically the Studio Basic. Okay, so first of all, I want you to look on the mixer part here. Here's what we can manipulate with this particular preset. Okay. quite a bit. We can change the sound a lot. Um, now, I want you to watch this. I'm going to now go to Original Mix. Okay, that disappears. So, from my understanding, what this is, is this is the drum sounds naked and raw, pre-processed, simply from the drums to the mics. I will play that loop now in this configuration. Now you may ask, why would you want to do that? Well, sometimes people actually want to um, get the sounds without the processing on them so they can route them out to their DAW and actually do the processing themselves, whether it be compression or EQ. Um, so they do make that option available. And again, I'm going to pick each room here. And we're going to do that. So the default for the bright room is the classic. We get six options here. We have tape, parallel comp, crunch, the ambience, mono, and the ambience, and the overhead. That's all through the bleed. I'll manipulate these to show you what it can do. Now what we'll do is we'll go to original. Again, the effects disappear or the ability to alter any of the sound. This is going to be the pre-processed signal for these drums, just raw. And here it is. Tightroom. Default on that is the classic pop basic. And we have these options here with the overhead bleed to manipulate the kick, the snare, and the toms with that overhead bleed. And then the tape drive. Let's take a listen. original mix. As you can see, those options disappear. We now have the full mic setup that was used to record this particular drum set in this room. I'm now going to play it. There you go, guys. That's all that is. So the original mix is just going to be the sounds pre-processed. All right? Um, I got more videos coming down the line, specifically some addressing the routing and showing you how I do route, how I have routed in the past uh, with Easy Drummer. And uh, that should be coming within the next few weeks, I think. So stay on the lookout for that one. And again, I'm doing the 
a ton of videos on Easy Drummer 3, so every day I'm trying to get something up new or something addressed that has been asked of me. So be on the lookout for that. Um, as always, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.